If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going with the best players to be using the 89 to 90 overall power pass on. Now, I didn't make this video right when Series 2 did actually release, because I figured a lot of you guys wouldn't be level, you know, you wouldn't be the maximum level right away anyway, so... Gave it a few days, waited on sign you, most of you guys at least getting close or getting near and start to worry about this. Now this is a very important power pass because this power pass is one of the first power passes that can be used on LTDs and on some higher overall expensive players because the other ones like the 87 to 88 was pretty much base elites for the most part. A ton of base elites which are decent value, they're great value when you get them. But right now there's a big discrepancy. You can use this power pass on anywhere from guys like 90k to 110k all the way to guys almost a million coins. And that's the discrepancy with this power pass and is where you really want to be careful with how you use it and go ahead and spend it. So let's get into the list guys but before we do, first I want to go down below and let you guys know, shout out to the Poodle Squad guys, if you guys want to be able to shout it out in the Poodle Squad each and every day, all you got to do is like the video, turn on the noti bell, comment down below Poodle Squad and be subscribed to the channel, super easy to do. And for today's Poodle Squad shout out, it is Mad Money. B33, shout out to you man for being part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support each and every day. And again, if you want a chance to shout it out, you guys just heard it. Continue those steps, keep doing that. And that's about it for that. So let's get into this, guys. So, first player on the list is going to be Aaron Rodgers. Now, Aaron Rodgers is a typical, typical case of just very expensive. So, if you want a card like this, you gotta use the power pass. Some of the lower cards, like Bo Jackson, a few of those other guys. They're only like 100k to 200k depending on if it's bow or if it's marino so those guys i really don't think it's worth wasting your power pass on just pay with coins but for someone like aaron Rodgers, one of the better quarterbacks in the game now do i think he's the best quarterback no but if you are looking for an aaron Rodgers and you have your power pass he's one of the top options just because how many coins you're going to end up saving using it now if you do power pass them you will end up with a 92 throw power 90 throw short 88 throw medium a 90 throw accuracy deep accuracy 89th under pressure, 93rd under run. So you're gonna hit almost every threshold now. You could use play fake on him and get his mid up. If you do that, he does get every single throwing threshold. But I'd probably recommend going go deep, which will end up getting you like a 95, 96 throw power, fully kept up and powered up, as well as like a 94 throw deep. Gonna be super great. Do I think he's better than Vic? It really depends if you value his accuracy versus the speed. But he's gonna be one of the most accurate quarterbacks in the game and he's gonna be super fun to play with and he has a super quick release which is one of the reasons why most people in general ever go with aaron Rodgers. it's just taking advantage of that release and that release is gonna be it's just super op for many people especially in a year where you know we have gunslinger we don't i mean what's called we have quick draw and quick draw works pretty great but aaron Rodgers naturally has that release with or without being pressured so a lot of people who are competitive do love to go that route now next on the list coming at number four is going to be brandon cooks Brandon Cook's one of the best wide receivers for quite a while. Up until we got the new influx of a bunch of players, but he's still crazy good. And he is expensive because, of course, he's a redux. Now, fully powered up and chemmed up, he's going to get only to a 92 speed. Now, 92 speed doesn't put him ahead of, like, everyone, like Tyrone Calico and Tyreek Tyhim. But he has the receiving stats, and you can't use a power pass on Tyrone Calico because he's a 91 overall. So, this is probably your best bet at getting a free power pass wide receiver and fully kept up and powered up he's gonna get the deeper running threshold he's gonna have 92 speed his catching could get above a 90 depending on your scheme he could get a spec catch above a 90 depending on your chems as well as medium and short running being an 89 and 88 so he can almost hit every single route running threshold depending on what abilities or what uh, chems and schemes and everything you're gonna put him on so he could still be a god receiver depending on what you have and at, at worst case scenario you should get a really really amazing receiver for a very cheap price versus paying his full price which I think is very important. So Aaron Rodgers and Cooks are amazing options. These are my top three coming up next. And these are the guys that I would really, really focus on. The other two were like honorable mentions depending on your situation. And these are the guys that I will be using mine on. So first one is going to be Lawrence Taylor. Now price wise, he's around 300K. Still a great saving point if you do go ahead and get him. And Lawrence Taylor, the beauty of using your power pass on him is because you don't just get the price save. You don't just get the great card now. You know Lawrence Taylor is a year end game card. You want them all year. So the issue with using power pass on guys like Brandon Cook sometimes is that you know that once we get more cards, Brandon Cook's probably done for the year. You may ever use them again. So you're gonna take your power pass off and then you gotta reapply it somewhere else. A guy like Lawrence Taylor, you can just leave your power pass on him all year. Now could that be a negative at times? Yes, the only way it would be negative is when you have Lawrence Taylor up to like a 96 overall and a new card comes out to you that's too expensive. So you're like, I need the power pass. You have to go power down Lawrence Taylor, get it off, put it on the new guy, because Lawrence Taylor's old piece now only goes to like 100k. 
Now, that is where you save some coins, but the issue, again, is that you have to power it down, and you have to go find that power pass all the time. If you have only got, like, cooks, it comes off easily. That's the only issue there, but Lawrence Taylor, going to be one of the top options, maybe even tied for first, but he's going to be a third for this specific scenario. 87 speed, 90 excel, 86 strength, 85 tackle, 85 play rec, 86 block shot, 89 power move, and 87 finesse move. Powered up and chemed up, he's going to get to an 88 speed, which is insane. 91 excel, insane. 87 strength, 86 tackle, 86 play rec, 87 block shot. He's going to get the 90 power move threshold, 88 finesse move. Now, you put the right stuff on him, like a run stop. You could probably get him up to above a 90 block show, which would make him insane. But not many people run that, so let's assume you're not doing that route. He's going to be a top-tier pass rusher. Of course, put edge start on him. That's what he's going to need to do all this. But it's that speed because the second, like literally the instant he gets off of someone, the instant he sheds, he'll get to that quarterback in under a second. That is the beauty of Lawrence Taylor because of that speed. Uh, if you contain or a quarterback tries to scramble, he will be able to keep up with them. Because think about it. The way they make this game, a, a decent pursuit angle and a 75 overall speed, like a 70 speed F end or defensive tackle could chase down an escape artist quarterback. Lawrence Taylor literally will outrun them. He's great on when, when people do stretches and he gets off, he can follow them to the line. He's just great at a lot of things. He's very well run. Just don't put him in a zone. He's not going to be great then. I will. He could he get a pick. He has gotten me picks. Could he run it back? Possibly because he is super fast. But the odds of him playing that zone well enough to get the pick are very rare. But again, this card's OP, and what's really going to be OP is the next card. That's Lawrence Taylor's one of those guys, too, where the first card's a great pass rusher, but the next card instantly becomes a... He's, 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 he just destroys everyone. Because the next card's going to be an insane run stopper, and he's going to be nearing, like, 95, 96 power move at that point, which is just absolutely insane. But that's the difference. He just becomes a world, world-class world run stopper on the next card, and even more crazy athletic. Now, moving on to the next guy. This guy really just screams um, price-saving and overpowered which is why he's on this list now i wish you could have put dion and vic on this list but you cannot because they are 91 overall sadly so we just missed out on getting those guys for cheap but denzel ward one of the best he just fits the meta right now that's the thing with denzel ward he fits the meta the meta is man bench press speed 92 speed 92 excel 90 agility 88 jumping 86 play rec, 89 man 89 uh, 83 zone and 88 press so powered up and chemed up you will have well above 90 man and above 90 press so there you go He's going to fit the bench press meta, and he's going to be super fast. He'll have a 93 speed. So what else do you really need from someone? You will be able to literally press any receiver in the game, all game you want, and just destroy them with Denzel Ward. And he's fast enough for if it's a run play, he can catch him. He can chase someone down, which is great to have speed like that on the field. Denzel Ward's really, really good. And, of course, he's 850K, I believe, right? Is that what I saw? Yeah, 850K. So, again, you have to remember that that's not affordable. Like, I don't, it doesn't matter who you are. Or even if you can afford it, it's not affordable at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, you look at it and you're like, can I, can I spend 850K on an LTD card? I know we'll get a Redux eventually. But the thing with Denzel Ward is he won't get a Redux till Series 3. And we just said Series 2 last week. So, you know it's going to be a while until his price really, really drops. And he fits the, the bench press meta. So, remember... You got to go ahead and take that. You got to take the advantage of the, of the power pass and pick him up for cheap. Now, of course, his power up is super expensive. It's like 100k. So you're going to have to deal with that. Of course, that's always going to be frustrating. But 100k versus 850k. I guess we got to do. And then you just have elite. That's probably going to be going for like a few, for like 15, 20k. So you can always use your other power pass for that one as well. And after the final guy who's in first place for me, I believe a lot of people probably agree with this. And that's Jamal Adams. Now, he's slightly cheaper than Denzel Ward. But the, the stats speak for themselves, guys. 89 speed, 88 excel, 84 tackle, 90 play rec, 90 pursuit, 87 man, 90 zone, 92 hit power. This card powered up and kept up is going to get 90 speed, 89 excel. Right now, that's like that's one of the best safety stats. That's like Isaiah Simmons speed, except he has all the other stuff. 85 tackle. He's going to get like a 94 play rec with lockdown, a 91 pursuit, an 8, oh, what is that going to be like? A 91 man coverage, a 94 zone coverage, a 93 hit power. He's going to be a top zone corner in the game. The top man coverage corner in the game, the top hit power corner in the game, the top pursuit, uh, uh, sorry, safety in the game, sorry, safety for all those, the top play rec safety in the game, tied for fastest safety in the game, that's usable, and he's six foot one. Guys, you could you, you could put him in the box in a big nickel scheme, you could use him. He literally, he's like Tyron, if you get him, Tyron Matthew and Isaiah Simmons are set. You could run Tyron Matthews like the nickel corner, you could, you could literally blitz, you could, you could man blitz all game and just and press up. And oh, not press because of course Jamal might not be able to press, but you can you can man blitz if you want whenever you want because Jamal Adams, Tyron Matthew can man up, and then Simmons you can use her. Guys, I'm telling you, this card is going to be this card's game breaking. You're able to do so much with him. If, if you're running a man scheme, he's a top man. He's a top man guy. If you're running his own scheme, he's a top zone guy. If they're running the ball on you, 
he's a top run stopper guys this card is absolutely insane like when i first saw this card i knew it would be crazy but as i keep looking at it i notice more and more and he has 70 block shed which means that pretty much he's going to be able to shed off a lot of guys now of course it might not look like a lot but 70 block shed for safety means he's probably gonna be able to shed off wide receivers which is who's gonna be blocking wide receivers some tight ends and a running back or something like that he's gonna be able to shut off almost all of that it's just gonna be probably linemen that he'll have issues with but more than likely safety is not gonna be blocked by linemen because that's pretty much linebackers and defensive linemen are gonna be blocked by linemen but guys that pretty much wraps up the video the number five again just to reiterate is aaron Rodgers. we got brandon cooks lawrence taylor denzel ward and jamal adams again my favorite personally as you see by the list is jamal adams but do not hesitate to do uh, ward or taylor I'm probably going to go Adams. That's probably that's why I have my first because, again, Adams just looks so overpowered. He, there's no weak spot. Like, with Denzel Ward, it's like, okay, if you do run his own scheme, he's going to have issues there. Uh, Lawrence Taylor is just cheap. Like, nothing's wrong with Lawrence Taylor's game, but he's only 300K, 295K. So, again, I can I can afford that. The real issue is a guy like Jamal, who I'll never be able to touch. Too unaffordable for now. And he's super overpowered. He has no weakness in his game. But, guys, about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed your entrance to the channel. Make sure to subscribe. Come join the Poodle Squad. Noti Bell, like, and comment down below, Poodle Squad. And also, guys, if you need coins to pick up any players, if you need coins to pick up some of these other players that you already, you already used your power pass, you just want these guys. Anyways, head over to MoReserve.com down below. They are coins are discounted still. Guys, crazy good deal. Use code Poodle, you get an additional 15% off your order. Guys, packs, the market's crash. The market's crash right now. Things don't go for a lot unless you pull the LTDs and those are out of packs already. So Packs are not the best value. You could pull two John Lynch full legends and only get 360k out of two bundles. Like you, two full two full legends out of two bundles is considered a good value. You can get two John Lynches and only get 360k. Do not be that guy. Pick up some points. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out.